Mordgood. Things are falling apart here. We are standing around dumbstruck after Eidestag abruptly expelled us all from his company. If only I had time to describe the adventure. It's beyond belief. I've come to know two of his companions, Robard, a formidable ranger, and Marl, the Telvanni scholar who seems wise beyond his years. They have known him longer than I, and even they are perplexed. We were attacked by strange beasts that emerged from the sea, and I sensed a change in him. I cannot be sure what it was, but he suddenly was different. He was fearful. I've failed to see something important. I've watched this man grind his boot into the neck of a dragon and cleave its skull. And yet, when this seemingly fearless warrior talked to me about his nightmares and fears, I said nothing. What could make a man like Eidestag afraid? I have alienated the man at the center of a conflict that threatens us all. I should never have left him. I should have defied his order. Be careful, Mordgood. There are dragons. We have fought and killed more than one, and their power is growing, and yet I fear they are not the greatest threat. Something has shaken Eidestag, and if ever there was something to fear, it is whatever troubles his mind. Be vigilant. Feral.
Lost man. Ugh. Lost man, you must rise. Who are you? I am a friend, lost man. You must rise. You will freeze here after the sun flees the sky. You are weak. You must rise. Go away. I'm already dead. You will rise. Put on your furs and pick up your axe. You have work to do. What do you know of my work? I see all that lies in your heart. I see what you guard. Then surely you must know I've already lost it. You have lost nothing. You are steadfastness. Her memora has opened me up. He's made me his creature. You are not his creature, but he presses in, trying to take the secrets you got. You must resist him. You must stop him. Stop a god? What madness is this? The wolf attacks the porcupine once and never again. You must inflict great pain. You must make the price too high. That is impossible. It is not. Once, there was a beautiful and gentle man. The vile masters of the Underrealm sought to trap his undefiled spirit in a powerful gem. He was like you, hunted. What happened? He gave over so much of himself that they could not contain the beauty in his soul. He gave willingly, and they grasped at his spirit with greedy hands until they discovered this was more than could be contained. His beauty was legion. Did they let him go? No. Died. There is a letter in your possession. A letter from another dragonborn. 
Yes, the one called Murek. But he's of no consequence to me. He is the end of this thread. The thread that leads to Hermaeus Mora. How can I do this? It will be difficult, but you must follow the thread and become the man once lost, but now found. If there's anything you need, just let me know. If you have business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's where most of our business comes from, in fact. I just need a room. Anything will do. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. These people Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. Sicken me. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Get out.
wish I could remember what it said. It was some, something about a ship. A ship in Windhelm. Cult is sent by Mirak. How is this a thread? Don't understand it. Cannot even pray. Not unless I'm willing to pray to a demon, false god. Welcome, dear viewers, to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I am the Couch Warrior, and you are watching the continuing story of Barbarian. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is Barbarian time. I hope you are ready. So... This whole story has been sort of an ongoing experiment in evolution and storytelling for me, um, using live streams as a way to do that. I'm enjoying myself. I like the progress that we make when we do it this way. And I've come up with a few tricks that kind of allow me to make my own cutscenes in sort of a, a live fashion, so long as you, the viewers, are patient enough to wait for me to get no set up. Stops to find our way to solitude. Why are we even going to a wedding at this far-flung end of the Empire, anyway? That is why I use the, uh, the interim story loading screens that allows me to do a few things behind the scenes to get set up, but there is a lot of advance work that takes place in order to set those up. Usually it involves going ahead to certain locations, setting up NPCs, getting them the way they want to, creating saves, jumping back and forth between saves. So, when you're seeing that story as loading screen, there are things going on in the background that are allowing me to set stuff up like I need it to be. It is somewhat limiting in that there are certain things I can do in a produced video that I just simply can't do live, but I'm learning how to, I think, push the envelope a little bit. Um... So, yeah. I think what I like most about it is that because it's a live stream, everyone has the expectation that if they watch the recorded version, they're going to get a lengthy video. So I don't get any complaints about lengthy videos. 
which is good because I think we're setting the right expectation. That also means that the story advances rather quickly because we're doing, you know, three to four hours at a sitting. We can make a lot of progress. So I do like that. Uh, there's sort of that the instant gratification of moving forward in the storyline, which, which I like. So I want to thank you all for joining me uh, this morning. Start time was um, 11 a.m. my time. Of course, uh, I'm in the United States Central Time, Minneapolis. And I'm sorry for the late notice on the start, but when I do these weekend streams, everything's sort of fluid. I really never know for sure what's going to, how the day is going to come together. And I also, um, yeah. there's, there's a fair amount of setup that goes into making these work like I need them to. Um, and with the exception of Tuesday nights, I'm a little bit reluctant to commit to a start time unless I'm absolutely sure I've got my setup done the way that I need it to. And that means not only getting the setup done, but doing a practice run here and there to make sure I understand where I'm going to move the camera and how, making sure I've got the pieces written that I'm going to read, uh, making sure that I've got the overlays prepared that I'm going to show you, uh, all those kinds of things. So um, that's probably going to be the way it is with the weekend bonus streams. I'll probably be announcing them as soon as I feel confident I have, any, have everything ready. If I don't have everything ready, then we just aren't going to move forward. Um, The other thing is think time. I just need frickin' think time because with so many stories overlapping and characters showing up in scenes, I'm, I'm literally trying to keep track of the locations and side stories of four or five characters at once and trying to be reasonable about what characters show up where and when so that it kind of makes sense logically. Um... So sometimes I just need time to sit back and think, okay, where is everyone right now? And what the heck is going on? Who could reasonably be where and what purpose would they serve? I don't want people just showing up in scenes to be there. I want them to serve a purpose. There needs to be a reason for them to be there. And so all of that stuff I got to work through. Anyway. Yes. So thank you all. Those of you who uh, attended the last stream, and hopefully there was some of you who uh, are in here today who got to view that video in its entirety. I know it, was a, it wasn't a, a, as long as a lot that I've done, um, but a lot of significance happened in that video. So uh, maybe throughout the course of today's adventure, we'll unpack some of those events a little bit. For now, we're headed for Windhelm. Now, you remember, the letter that we just read was a letter that was obtained right immediately after the first time that he visited High Hrothgar. And one of the things that we understand about this character is that when it comes to the common tongue, he's illiterate. Um, he can't write it. He can't read it. However, he can read and write certain runes, certain sort of esoteric and cryptic languages that are uh, of particular importance to an Atmoran shaman. We've also come to realize that he can read, write, understand, speak the dragon tongue, obviously. So at the time that he first obtained that letter, that letter was read, but that, that letter was read by someone else he was traveling with who recited the contents of the letter to him. So as he was looking at it in the inn, he was trying to remember what he had been told. The name of Mirak is definitely memorable to him just because that's an individual who's also claiming to be dragonborn. But also, the fact that Mirak had ordered someone to kill him... I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. 
and that these people had arrived from somewhere else other than Skyrim by boat. So right now, he's going from memory. And of course, in the scene that you just saw, we were witness to Wisp actually taking an active an active role in trying to save him. Obviously, for Wisp, there was some fear that psychologically, Idastog had simply given up and was going to freeze to death. So I would say Idastog is being pushed forward right now. He's not going forward willingly. He's being pushed forward. And... Um, I would say, from a roleplay perspective, he doesn't have a lot of expectations. For him right now, it's kind of a deeply depressive state as he realizes that her memora has finally caught up with him. There's no more hiding. One of the things that we also witnessed was Wisp get rather forceful. Wisp has, for the most part, where Shadling was concerned, been sort of portrayed as this kind of docile, friendly force. Whereas in this case, we saw Wisp basically raise his voice and demand that Eidestag get up. I think that gives us a, a little different sense for maybe what Wisp is, but also perhaps the importance of this mission, the attitude towards the mission of Shadling that Wisp seems to share. Let's do this. There are only two ships. Lords don't appreciate us, but so what? I don't appreciate them right back. Nords appreciate nothing. You. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Why not? It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. That's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. You are going back, and you're taking me. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. Perhaps you'd like me to split your skull. You're going back. Hold on now. I'm just a simple sailor. I never wanted to get mixed up in any of this. All right, I'll take you. But we leave immediately. to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here.
I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Jolan, I was starting to wonder what happened to you. We, uh, we were delayed by bad weather. Before you even ask, yes. State my intentions. I intend to kill Mirak. I intend to learn his secrets. And I intend to lay out anyone who gets in my way. That's it. <laughs> Simple. Damn, Ash. <laughs> Strange construction. I work for Mogro. You got a problem, you talk to him. Yeah, I heard you before. I just don't care. You won't kick me out of here, and we both know it. Look, we beat over this. I paid you off. I don't owe you a thing. And I'm supposed to run my operation outside in a pile of ash? I don't think so. I'm not asking you. Welcome to the Wretched Netch Corner Club, home of the finest suit jammer that will ever grace your lips. Do you want me to kill him for you? Welcome to the Wretched Netch, Outlander. What can I get you? Water. Of course. Room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. What have you heard? I heard crazy old Cressius has been sneaking in the Raven Rock mine again. At his age, he's going to get himself killed in there. That doesn't concern me. What else? Haven't heard anything lately. But check back with me. You never know. Yeah. Good enough. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Who's in this room? Let me know if there's anything else you need. This door stays open. I hate this place already. Tastes good either. Very well. Must get some sleep somehow.
When the world shall Hold see you. Please, we must leave this place. That world Israel, will cease can you to hear be. Me? You must leave Here this place. in my temple. Osla, please. You must that you listen to have me. forgotten. Isra, I'm here to help you. You must leave this place. You must fight against that what you is might wrong. remember. You must listen to me. Isra, can you hear me? You must leave this place. What faithless minds have Osla, stolen. Please. We must Lost man. Isra, I'm here to help you. You must leave this place. You must fight against what Lost is man. We must leave this place. Isra, can you hear me? Your hands. You must leave this place. Osla, please. And when the world you must shall listen. listen. Isra, and when here to help you. Lost man. What? You must that fight against what is controlling you. What is happening? We must leave this place. Here. Isra, I'm here to help you. You must leave this place. That they have forgotten. You must fight against what is controlling you. We must leave Where this place. Here do we toil. Isra, can you hear me? You must leave this place. You must fight against what is controlling you. We must leave this place. Isra, what is this me? place? You must remember. leave this place. By night Osla, we please. reclaim. This is the woodland man at work. It has to be. We must leave this place. Who is this? Isra, I'm here to help you. You must leave this place. He grows ever near to. It is freezing. What is controlling? You must listen to me. Who are you? You there. What brings you to this place? Why are you here? Evil has brought me here. Who are you? I am Freya of the Scar. I am here to either save my people or avenge them. Our hands once were idle. Save them from what? I am unsure. Something has taken control of most of the people of Solstein. It makes them forget themselves and work on these horrible creations that corrupt the stones, the very land itself. My father Storm, our shaman, says Mirak has returned to Solstein, but that is impossible. You have a shaman? This Mirak tried to have me killed. Then you and I both have reason to see what lies beneath us. Indeed. Let us go. There is nothing more I can do here. The tree stone and my friends are beyond my help for now. We need to find a way into the temple that below. World will cease to be. Good. You must leave this place. Look. Here. Find them. What? What is this? What is happening? Here do we toil. When Dragonborn returns to this place soon, and all <coughs> will be changed. We might remember. 
Come, woman. There are mages here. Ah. Do something. Hmm. All right, what we are going to do next is figure out the right loadout for our character. So we have uh, numerous things in our inventory that might help us here. Um, the Necklace of Waning Fire, that's probably advisable. We're going to be up against a lot of mages here. So we're going to sacrifice some one-handed damage. Um, maybe we'll stick with this guy here. This is helping us out with one-handed and block. But we'll we'll change up the necklace. That'll probably be good. All right, let's give that a go. With that set up, we are going to quick save here. Now the other thing I'm going to do is let's just double check our vivid weathers because I want to make sure you all can see what's going on in here. So I'm just going to tweak the brightness a little bit. A little brighter. Are you ready to help me now? We should not delay. We should check these rooms for supplies before heading further into the temple. I am ready. There are potions here. Those mages outside, they were the same ones who tried to kill me. What do you know of them, anything? I must speak to your shaman. Reminds me of home. <laughs> Take your time. I shall follow you when you are ready. So we simply go deeper? Is that the idea? Never should have come here. Who's there? I must not fail my people. And I must not fail mine. Let us hope our goals are never at cross purposes. 
What's that? The old ones are still I here. I knew I heard something. Must be careful in these ruins. Traps can be anywhere, and there will likely be many. Mirak was trying to take power here and protect himself in the process. This construction is not unlike Skyrim. Did the poison of the betrayer, dragon priests, reach all the way here? I do not wish to imagine the kinds of things that happened in this chamber. Who are the poor souls trapped in these cages? What tortures did they suffer at Mirak's hands? Was it in service to the dragons, or for his own purposes? I don't believe it was in service Look to the there. dragons. I think I see something. Up there. The stairs are knocked out. I have no doubt you can find a way up. You never know, you may find something of value up there. I shall look around. We can proceed with it. We're ready. It looks like we are not the first to attempt it. Oh, that is a long jump. Shot it. There was not much of consequence up there. Take it out. Finish it. And so it ends. There are mages. Hold. I know I heard. I knew it. Now we end this. Ah. Watch it. Your false reign ends now. I am sorry, but
But you left me with no choice. How many are there? Symbols look familiar. Search them all. Search everything. What does your shaman know of Mirak? You know I will find out eventually, don't you? seem we're on the same side now, but I don't understand her motivations completely. Is someone there? I now we this. end this. Are the ones who occupy these tombs your ancestors? Understand I mean no disrespect, but I will search what? everything. Now we end this. Victorious again.
even if they are your ancestors. They are hopelessly compromised. You understand that, right? Is someone there? Out. I knew I heard something. <laughs> was messy. That is how I like it. Messy. She apologizes. Clearly, these are her ancestors. <laughs> I'm not going down there. It would be foolish to attempt it. You have a much better chance than I to make it through these traps. I have no doubt that lever turns this blade. I shall wait here for now. Of course. Well, shit. Imagine that was the last view of many a warrior. Just hope it is not mine. Oh, gods, look at that. <laughs> Witness, woman. Let us hope that is the last of these traps. I doubt that. There is a lever. There we go. Are you prepared? Well, I hope so. When I kick this down, we just rush in. There is no other way. Ugh. Ah, 
I've got this one. Come on. fights. Oh, this is a cagey one. Victorious again. told you we must search them all. You understand that, right? These pages. Something... significant about them. Evil in the what about the evil? I do not know what it is Mirak learned that gave him reason to turn on his masters. But his path seems to have been a cruel one. I like wonder if so we many other dragon what priests. Happens. What's that? Again. There are many dead ones in here. Who's there? Interesting. This may be worth exploring. What I suspected there this? would be something down here. Do you know those spells already? I do not know spells. I am not a spellcaster. Do not be fooled. I am lit from within, but it is not a spell. Do not be fooled. Do not be afraid. There are mages. Find them. First brother! Where did you come from?
Let it go. Victorious again. You keep saying that. It grows repetitive. By the Allmaker. Look for more of the pages. They seem important. Even I can avoid stepping on traps. You must learn the ways of these crypts. If you wish to survive, that How is... much deeper can this be? I had been told that Mirak's power was great, but to have built so large a temple. It cannot be much farther now. I feel it in my bones. What is this? Wall. Mirak had turned against the dragon cult. Down but here. The remains in such a manner. It is no wonder the dragons raised his temple to the ground. Seeing the remains hung up like trophies must have been What is that? Repair yourself. They come. Something feels wrong. Brace yourself. I knew I heard something. Ah. Come on, woman. I require your assistance. I will not fall. What? What? Ah! It is unsettling when one sees a vision of one's own death. I had heard Mirak had turned against the dragon cult, but to display the remains in such a manner as this. It is no wonder the dragons raised his temple to the ground. Seeing the remains hung up like trophies must have enraged them to no end. All right. Brace yourself. I have seen it. Yeah. 
There's another one. Move. I must not fail my people. What could this Merak's connection to Hermaeus Mora be? Why would someone ever willingly align themselves to Herma Mora? I don't understand that. Is that what this is? The Wisp. Wisp said this was the beginning of the thread I was to follow. This area has been sealed off for millennia. Come, there must be an exit through here. This can't be the end. Dead end? Impossible. There must be something more. Look around. I will let you know if I find anything in the dining area. Good enough. Look at this. It is large enough that hundreds of people could have lived down here. We consider the idea of people living their lives in subterranean barrows and then question why they would have gone awry. Regardless of how black your heart is... At least some small amount of sunshine breathes life into the soul. I knew it. A secret passage in the dining area just opened up. This must be it. Let us move quickly. She knew it. She is a know-it-all. It is unattractive. Aggressively more perverse. I wonder if there is something here that tells the story of Mirak. Nothing but ruined books. Hmm. Men like Mirak. I recognize this statue. We passed by a few of them earlier, but. They are becoming more frequent as we get further in. Perhaps they don't like to have their stories like scrutinized. It almost looks as if these statues will come to life at any moment. <laughs> come here. Obviously, this is where we are intended to go.
It is eerily quiet. I do not suspect that will be the case the further we go. Be on your guard. I am... Ever deeper into the abyss. For it is the abyss where a loathsome, inky black creature would reside, I guess. All right. Apologize to them. They were vile in life, That's and they are even more so in death. I am sorry. All maker, protect me! I knew I heard something. Back at you, bastard! You are mine now. Ah, he's got me in a corner. Difficult. Does your arm tire as mine does? Her memora idolized. You see it, don't you? She probably does not see it. Not unless you've beheld the visage of her memora would you understand. Dark magics at work here. Ready yourself. This book, it seems wrong somehow. Here, yet not. It may be what we seek. I have not seen its like before. Or have I? I 
I do not wish to touch it. But I must pull the thread. The time comes soon, when... What? Who are you to dare set foot here? Ah... You are Dragonborn. I can feel it. And yet... You have defeated dragons, yes. But still... You have no idea of the true power a dragon born can wield. This realm is beyond. You have no power here. And it is only a matter of time before Sol's time is also mine. I already control the minds of its people. Soon they will finish building my temple. And I can return home. Send him back where he came from. He can await my arrival with the rest of Tamriel. see through you what is she saying ah as if my head is full of fur I'm not really sure I saw Mirak on a dragon where where is he can we reach him can we kill him no, he is in the beyond. Somehow reading this book took me there. This is a dangerous thing, then. We should return to my village and show this to my father. Perhaps Thorn can make sense of what is going on. Come, there looks to be a way out through here. to meet this shaman. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a short break. I shall return.
You see that green light? That comes from the windstone. Where my people work against their will. They must be freed soon. I have seen this. I have been subject to this. Lead on. The village is just ahead. Storm has used his magic to raise a barrier around it, protecting the few of us left. That the barrier is still there is a good sign. Miss Storm must be a powerful shaman to be able to create such a barrier. Oh, to have the power to protect your people in that way. That would be incredible. If only I'd had that power. Father, I have returned. There is yet hope. Freya, what news do you bring? Is there a way to free our people? No, but I have brought someone who has seen things. He has confirmed that Mirak is indeed behind the suffering of our people. I fear that it will be so. But how is that possible? After all this time? I fear there is too much we do not yet know. Please, tell Storm. So you have seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. I have seen Mirak. Really? How? I opened a book in his temple. It took me somewhere to the beyond. He was there. The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine. But if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? Yes. Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was Dragonborn. What does it mean to be Dragonborn if someone like Mirak can also be Dragonborn? I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago. And use that knowledge on the Windstone. You may be able to break the hold on our people there and free them from control. What do you mean, free your people from control? Explain. Some dark influence wields power over them, forces them to forget themselves and act against their nature. At first, 
it was only during the night. But now every moment is spent building some strange shrine around the windstorm. I believe if the shrine can be destroyed, the skull will be free once more. What do you know about Mirak? Much of what was known has been lost to the ages. It was Where did you a come from? I leave. What is this? What is it? It looks like a devil, very small one. Put an end to this evil magic before it consumes us all. Very well. If anyone can help us now, it is you. I could not save my own people. Perhaps I can save his. I do not like this land, it is cursed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta go and find this shout. So that's what we're going to do next. Yes. My deity has abandoned me. Why am I not surprised? I refuse to pray when my very prayers are stolen from me. I am getting closer! I am getting closer! <laughs> oh, you are angry. I understand. I too am angry. Retreats into the trees. You can't beat me. 
That's your best, huh? No! Okay. We are encumbered. So let's see what we've got that is absolute garbage. And we'll give it to him. There's always garbage. little demons. Ah, these are skull as well. Perhaps I can assist. Idols and affectations of the dragon priests. Is a vast and beautiful land. And yet, so poisoned. This is a sticky spot. Wasting your breath, dragon. I should be careful. 
Dragons are wily creatures. Where is the call of the wall? Quickly, for it comes back. Damn it. Hmm. This is becoming a problem. It fights something else now. Right, old one. You shall carry my burdens, such as this, and this, not that. I want that back. All right, we are going to equip the bow. And we've got 19 of these dragon bone arrows that we have salvaged from Theral over time. Now, the problem is, this is a nasty dragon. We're playing at legendary difficulty. If we get caught out in the open, all it's going to take is a couple of blasts from that breath, and we're done. So I want to make sure that I'm working from a spot where I've got cover. At the same time, can't be missing any shots either. So, okay, there it is. It's preoccupied with something up there. So we're going to move from cover to cover. The next cover position is there are kind of a couple of bridgeways up here. If we can get underneath there, yeah, that dragon is good and well preoccupied. This can also be a good cover spot for us right here. <clears throat> we can move in and out. Okay, let's advance.
Oh, Jesus. All right. It'll work to our advantage if he stays on those trolls for a bit. Bitch. All right. Woof, man, this is getting nasty. Okay, let's resist some cold. Plentiful healing. And we've got ultimate stamina. Let's go ahead and use it. Gonna move out from cover just long enough to try to figure out where it's where it's operating from here. God, we are just beset by all kinds of shit right now. Nightmare. This is very interesting. Um, never had occasion to fight a dragon at legendary difficulty solo. We've always had our companions. So it gets a little bit scary. Oh. All right. Let's switch. Now what is it after? Why do I even care? Why do I pursue this beast? I do not need its soul. Surely it must be ready to come down. Look at it. It 
is bleeding everywhere. All right, I'm just going from one cover point to the next. See if we can hit it from here. Got it. Uh, that was a wasted shot. Okay, next cover point. It's as if this dragon is rabbit. Ah, oh, here we go. Son of a bitch. Right. Well, we try again. So, the point at which I saved. We've already collected that. This is empty. All right. We dispatch those two. All right, so the point where I saved was just before we collected this bow. All right. So let's offload these items again. We need to free up some capacity. Okay. And then we got rid of this guy, that guy. was about moving from one cover point to the next. All right, run. Kidding? God damn it. Holy. 
Holy shit. I can't catch a break here. Uh, okay. Let's resist some cold. Okay, these guys are going to... I mean, if I survive this, these guys are going to push me out of cover. So let's heal all the way up. Stamina all the way up. See if we can buy ourselves a little bit of time. Let them take the brunt. Jesus criminy. All right. Um, vigor. Get a stamina regen boost. Okay, let's go back and look at the gear here, too, because I'm thinking we can do ourselves a favor. Uh, the Necklace of Waning Fire is not doing us any good right now, so we're going to go to... The wielding. Shit. This is trial by frost. Jeez. Ugh. Come. Show me what you've got. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Having some arse pain here. Um, all right. A wee bit. Of health. Yeah, I thought I that I could get in there, give it a shield bash. Maybe mix it up a little bit closer up, because that's where we do our best damage. However, that did not work. Wielding. I'm using I'm utilizing shouts as fast as they will refresh. All right. If you're talking about variety of shouts, well, the most powerful shout I have at the moment is unrelenting force, and it is about the only thing I have in my arsenal that can break a breath weapon attack. So that is how I am using it. However, it takes the cooldown on it is significant. So I can only use it once in a while.
his attention now. Can't tell if I'm hitting it or not from here. I'm guessing not. Fuck! <laughs> Jesus. Scared the shit out of me. Here we go. Fuck! One bite, and that's it. Alright, that's three deaths now. Fighting this dragon. These trolls suck, man. No! coming down here. Ah, oh, come on. All right. We'll do everything the hard way. Everything. Retreat. Oh, shit. Yeah, fight each other. The dragon's long gone now. All right, this is a good spot here. Let's quick save here. This is a spot I feel like I could successfully defend. Bandits in it now. Come on, little bastards. Oh, 
Ugh. Getting pushed back. All right. Now, looks like we've got... We got a bandit up here or something coming up. No. Skull. Okay. Damn. All right. Well, the skull came to our aid. That's good. So what do we got? Three trolls dead. Two bandits. A couple of reekling riders. Dragon is long gone. All right, well, I guess it's apropos that the skull would help us out. So we are doing our utmost to help them. So I guess that makes sense. I think Saved by the Skull fits the story. We are, after all, going out of our way to help them. Yeah, there's reeklings everywhere. All right. So, of course, what we know is what's what's coming next is we're going to destroy a shrine and we're going to see how well we fare trying to fight a lurker at legendary difficulty. That should be interesting. <clears throat> now, we can use a certain amount of strategy in advance to kind of prepare the battlefield the way we would like it to be. However, I'm also aware of the fact that Idastog is, at this stage, is not aware of exactly what's going to happen when he destroys that shrine. So I don't want to over-prep. I just want to do whatever would be the reasonable, safe thing to do. So let's go have a look at this. We'll make a quick save right here. What by day stone? He grows ever near. All right, so attacking from uphill is going to be to our advantage because we'll have the high ground. What that also means is that we do have a chance using unrelenting force to perhaps shout that lurker right off the ledge. The trick will be figuring out how to do it without also shouting any skull off. So, yeah. All right. So we start with Bend Will. If we take a look here, uh, Unrelenting Force is mapped to six. So hopefully we'll recover pretty quickly. 
Here we go. Didn't even move him. Holy crap. Holy crap. Alright. Let's take a look and see what else we got. Ah. Uh, fires from the heavens. I suppose. Um, but that's going to kill indiscriminately, probably. Bend will, clear skies, curse. Okay, this turns damage they do to me back on them. That could be useful, however, I would really like to take no damage at all from a lurker, which is impossible. The stomp alone is going to be awful. Shatter sphere. I mean, we could try the lightning shield, right? At least that's kind of constantly doing some passive damage. We're going to have to get in there and mix it up anyway. So. Run! Ah, oh, God, that's bad. Oh, Jesus. My shout is still in cooldown, so I can't do much at the moment. So we're going to have to stretch this out. All right. I don't know if these are physical attacks, magical attacks, or what. My guess is that poison isn't going to be particularly effective on the damn thing. So Defender, if we're going to mix it up, Defender is going to have to hopefully help us there. So we'll do plentiful healing to kind of max us out. Make sure we're full up on stamina. Alright, here it comes. Healing. Let's increase the health. Vigorous, vigorous. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. Alright, we know what it takes was nasty, but it was easier than trying to fight that dragon. The whole village is here. What sorcery is this? All right. Let's level up. Okay, I've been investing in stamina. Let's go back to health here for a little bit. And look at that. We hit level 30, which gives us our bonus perk. Thank the gods for that. Speech is now at 40. Let's see what we've got here. Shouting summons up a divine wind, granting 30% extra attack damage. 15% increased movement speed for 15 seconds. The effect stacks. Very good. All right. Let's go on down the line here. 
Let's take a look at one-handed. See how we're doing. Bleed like a lamb. Mangle, we've got both levels in that. Apex Predator. Attacks with a war axe deal bonus damage to living targets equal to 4% of their current health. Max is out at 40. A little extra damage. It's good. It'll help us against some of them bosses and whatnot. All right. Quick save. Off we go. Alright, so we're going to talk to Storn. Boy, this has been quite an epic slog, but I am determined to keep playing at legendary difficulty at this point. By level 40, with an accomplished warrior, you should be able to play at legendary. I should be able to, I know that, just from past experience, playing Sagramore and so forth. Obviously, my investments were different then as far as perks go, but Idis Dog, I feel like, is is every bit, if not close, to the warrior that Sag was. I will let them sleep. In the meantime, maybe I can make use of some of these things. books. I wish I could read them. I am not lost. I am the leader of the Skull, but it's the Allmaker who truly protects and provides. As leader of the Skull, I name you friend to our people. You are welcome here. I. I've met a few Nords from Skyrim. They thought us strange, but in our hearts, I don't think we are so different. Tell me about your people. We are Nords, much like those you'll find in Skyrim. Long ago, our path diverged from that of our cousins on the mainland. We live as one with the land, for the land provides all that we need. 
Also, like the Nords of old, we embrace the Allmaker. We do not worship the Nine Gods of the Empire. This is a good thing. Hmm. How did you become leader? I was chosen by the people of the village when our last leader, Scoff the Giant, departed the cold world to join the Allmaker. I suppose I've always spoken my mind and tried to do what's best for the Skald. That's why the others call me Fanari Strong Voice. I feel a kinship with these people. What can I do to help your village? Bandits sometimes come at night to steal our food. They think that stealing from us is easier than hunting for themselves. It will be dangerous, but if you'll deal with these thieves, we would be most grateful. I will do it. Then may the Allmaker give you the strength of a great bear and make your will as firm as stone. All right, then. I feel foolish. The Skar live in harmony with nature, and take only what we need from the land. I have never been... godless. Now I am... truly godless. I dare not pray. Where would my prayers go? Prayers of mortals are what give gods their power. I cannot afford to make the mistake of inadvertently giving power to those who oppress. I cannot pray. I cannot sleep. is becoming a problem to even defend myself. Stone, I can wait no longer. We must speak. Please, I'm sorry. Get up. We must have words. The air is different. We are safe, which means you have succeeded. No, people are free, as far as I can tell. So it is. You have proven yourself an ally to the Skull, and so the Skull shall be allies to you. Hmm. So, what do we do now? If you have released the Windstone and broken the hold on my people, Perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Solstein. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Mirak is doing, but it may slow his progress. That is not enough. I cannot help with that. None here can. You will need the knowledge Mirak himself learned. You will need to learn more about this black book. Very well. Tell me about the book, then. Mirak had this? This does not look like something of the dragon cult. It is a dark thing, unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it. But the dark elf wizard, Neloth. He came to us some time ago, asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. 
Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, Dragonborn. There is something else at work here. Hmm. Tell me about the Allmaker. You are an outsider. And I don't know if I can make you understand. I will understand. I will try. The Allmaker is the maker of all things. And it is from the Allmaker that life flows like a great river. As all rivers must return to the sea, so all life returns in time to the All-Maker. I know our ways must seem strange to you, but the Nine Gods of the Empire are equally strange to us. Hmm. May darkness never touch you. There is nothing strange about your ways, old man. The Nine... Now that is indeed strange. He tells me many things I already know. But if I could free the people here, that would lessen Mirak's influence, would it not? That seems like a desirable thing to do. Therefore, that is what I shall pursue. Perhaps if I make him angry enough, he'll come after me again. And we can cross blades. And when the world remembers. Here is another one right here. Even the little demons are enslaved. All right, it is a continuing challenge to survive here. What by day was stolen. Broken neck. All right. We must free them. But how? So we know the beast will come. 
Perhaps I can do the same thing to the beast I did to the mage. Perhaps. All right, let's see if we can line it up. Switch to bend will. Quick save here. Here we go. Scaffolding will help to break up the attacks. We need to get them move in the direction we want them to go. You attack me, little ones. Major Knight, that's a good one. I like that. Peace, little friends. Remember. All right. Let's go find more. So it's going to be kind of um, a little wandering phase here. I think Idastog would be determined at this point to interrupt or destroy anything he can think of that might enhance or prop up the power of Hermaeus Mora and or Mirak. So that I think is going to be the motivation for destroying the shrines. I believe it will also be the motivation for collecting the books. At this point, Idastag is smart enough to know that those books are in some strange way a product of the woodland man. They're a symbol of power. Uh, they also, if the one that he's found is any indication, uh, they, they give Hermaeus Mora influence in the mortal realm. So it stands to reason that if those books could be obtained or destroyed, that you'd be limiting the god's influence in the mortal realm, which is definitely something that would be on his to-do list, for sure. All right. This place is so damn dangerous at at pretty much any level. 
<sighs> Playing it at level 30 at legendary, I am going to be cautious here. Idastag is going to turn on the hunter instincts, I think. There. The light once again. The wisp said I must make it painful. How do you make make it painful as a mortal for a god to mess with you? You attack his influence, perhaps? Attack his followers, tear down his shrines. Steal his books. All right. We do this again. Ring of Faith. How nice. No, a girl with a hair of gold. Rather die I in called her there. She told me. This place is so strange. What is this? From that look on your face, I'm guessing you've never seen a silt strider before. No. This is Dusty. I've personally trained her from a lava. Feels like a lifetime ago now. She hasn't been in traveling condition for quite a while now. I've tried to let it go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. How do you survive in this waste? We get bar trade nods and ends with the locals. I've decided to stay here and make sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Every once in a while, a local makes it out here. Although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silt striders are pretty rare now. Hmm. You are doing her a kindness. That is... Admirable. Take a look. All right. He doesn't have a ton of money. Mm -hmm. It's probably not even worth it. 
Look at it. What a strange creature. She comes here to die. Like so many other things. All right, we are now gonna make our way back towards Raven Rock, okay? I'm gonna quick save as we go, cause we all know it gets nasty out here. So. Hope everybody is doing well. I am doing fine. It's good to see you all here. It is coming quickly. If it is on fire, we head to fight by the water. All right. Let's take a look. Okay, we've got the waning fire going. Resist some fire. It's coming. Gonna have to do that again. So let's make sure we're ready. It is distracted. Ah, excellent. So my plan for today is uh, we are going to be streaming for about one more hour, which is um, 3 o'clock Central Standard Time. And then I will be returning with a continuation of the story on Tuesday as normal. All right. So after this is done, once it renders, I will be... Um, as I normally do, I'll be setting it to private, and then I'll be editing out certain things and rendering it as a video. So those of you who only caught part of the stream, or missed it entirely, will always have access to the story. That is the routine. It's kind of a slow process, but um, it works out okay. It keeps me from having to do a lot of extra work. It just takes time for everything to render in YouTube. It takes way longer for stuff to render through YouTube. So, But it makes a lot more sense than if I were to download all that stuff, render it locally, and then put it out again that makes no sense so 
That is how it works. Ah, oh, look at this. Convenient. All right, we're back. If you're looking for passage to Vardenfell, you're out of luck. No ships are heading that way. There is another. I will take my rest first. What are you gawking at? All right, we're going to get a little sleep. And then... We'll deal with another stone here. Welcome to the Retching Netch Corner Club. Welcome to the Retching Netch, Outlander. What can I get you? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Take a look. Cooked beef. That is familiar. Venison stew. Well, I'll show you to your room. Right this way. All right. So Eidestag has taken an un understandably dark turn. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Um, there are several different ways that I'm trying to portray that. If you're looking for a room or perhaps some libations, you've come to the right place. Part of it is through the role play, but part of it is through certain aesthetics. You'll notice, maybe you don't notice, but I've modified the skins of his face and he's got darker circles under his eyes than he had before. There are subtle things like that going on and not so subtle things. Um, but if you pay attention, you might notice them. All right, let's get about six hours. All right, man, let's keep cranking on heavy armor and block. All right, some water, beef, cheese. I just dog is a simple man. Yeah, there are a number of different things that will change on this character throughout his his story arc. So, uh, whenever I can, citizen, I'll I will. This warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Whenever I can, I like to create, you know, customizations. Whenever it's reasonable. To help reflect some of the things that I'm I'm telling in the story to help support that, I guess. Textures are one of those things that I enjoy doing and that are easy for me to do, so I I like to fall back on that as a as an option. Alright, so what do we know about this one? Well, we know this one is special because we're gonna get more than one lurker. Um which is uh not great for us. <laughs> 
Um, so let's quick save here. And I say, let's just go for it. No point in hesitating. By night, we recline. Go! Now, hopefully, we'll get some help from these veteran guards. Time to die. Ah, there's number two. Come on. Come on. Charging power attack. Doing okay on health, but we need that stamina dearly. Without our shield, we are screwed. So, um, let's use those. Now, that fight I was very happy with. That one I was able to execute a lot of combined power attacks of various types. And really take advantage of the bonuses we get from doing that. Which is awesome. Squatting isn't tolerated in the abandoned buildings. If you need a place to stay, head to the corner club. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to take a very short break, five minutes or less, and we will come back for the conclusion of today's episode. Thank you, and I will see you back here shortly.
All right, we're back. Whew. This has been a very intense episode for a lot of different reasons. From a story perspective, certainly, and the combat has been, like, over-the-top intense. So, I think I got about another 50 minutes left in me. The goal here is uh, we want to go and get that last shrine. Now, to get to it, we got to go up the coast here a bit. Um, so, we're pointing the right direction. I know that for sure. So, let's go get it. Um, there are some things along the way that could really test us. I know that there's, for sure, that there's some bandits. And if I remember correctly, there's some nasties around the shrine itself. So, yeah, this will be a challenge. I will tell you what I really, really like about this, though. Okay? So, we talked on the podcast every once in a while about adversity and embracing the adversity. The difficult nature of the path that Idastog has been on in this episode is totally fodder for roleplay, right? So you gotta use it. Dispatched. Let's retreat. Free. Come on. Come on. Four. All right, it's those. Yeah, fucker. Telling you what, running out of stamina is a bitch. Anyway, what I was saying is the, the adversity, the difficult nature of this is... Necessary? Oh, we gotta fight these bastards again? Fuck. Um, and it's good? I know it. You reclined. Um... Go! All right, let's see if I can do it as well as I did it the first time. Come on, I know you're here. I saw it in my vision. Ah, I see you. Never should have come to Only one this time? No. I like the first outcome better. Is that? Over here. There we go. Try getting the scum off the front of a forward. All right, we got to get this charging power attack. There it is. Spinning power attack. There it is. Telling you what, man, you get them in the right combination, you get that stuff stacking up. It's really helpful. All right. All 
All right, let's go see what we can do about those damn bandits. So I've been trying to have this conversation with you about character adversity. As stressful as it is, um, trying to get through some of these combat scenarios, um, it certainly does make it rewarding when you're successful and when your game crashes. Thank God I saved. Couch Warrior. This is the second time your game has crashed in perhaps what? Eight hours of gameplay? Is this normal for you? No, it's not. Just hang on. I'm tired of waiting. So tired of waiting for you. It's all I do. Wait and wait for your games to load, to stop crashing. Are we good now? All right. I will go to where the shrine is. You can have your conversation. Thank you. Uh, so I like the adversity is what I'm saying. Especially with a character like this who has been traveling with so many companions for so long. Earning levels through synergy levels as well. And I think in retrospect, if I, if I take a look at that, that is probably why Idas Dog at level 30 struggles a little bit more as a fighter than Sagramore did at level 30. Because Sagramore at level 30 had basically done everything solo, which means every single level that he obtained in every skill was earned through combat as opposed to synergy. Because we get synergy points for skills that we never use, like destruction and light armor and archery and all this kind of stuff. Um, if we had those same levels in the skills that we're using all the time, it might be a little bit different story. I don't know. Motherfucker. Wrong shout equipped. Yay. Yay for me. This is turning out fabulous. This will be the episode I throw in the garbage. All right, let's try a different strategy this time. The other thing, too, is that I, I feel like the way that I developed Sagramore, he was a bit more extreme in the way that I spent points, not perks, but points on health and stamina. Um, I did not spread my points out between health and stamina like I have with this character, and sometimes I think that's a mistake. I'm not sure. All right. Let's see what we can do to try and soften them up before we go in here. Let's F5 here. Okay, we got our unrelenting force equipped, which I'm thinking right now... Let's try lightning shield instead. We've got at least one here. I don't know if we can hit him or not. Nope, of course we can't, because he's already on his way to get us, because we were just that fucking obvious. So, the problem is, I get over this outcropping of rock, and there's nowhere to retreat to. Except into the ocean. So let's hold up here. 
Let's see how riled up they really are. Yes, he's... He thinks something's up, but he doesn't know what. So let's just wait for our opportunity. Oh yeah, here they come. I, think I could loft one in there. Not when they're moving though. That's a shot Theral could make, but not Ida's dog. I want this guy to come up here again. God dang it, he just keeps turning around and going back down. That is how piss poor our stealth is. Yeah, level 30 and a 24 sneak, that is pretty bad. Feels like there's a lot of them milling around by that door there. Right down in there. You'll notice I turned off my stealth indicator. I'm doing that through immersive HUD. So it makes everything a bit more mysterious. Um, Not as easy to tell if you've been spotted or not. All right, let's see what we can do. We're going to get down in here, and we're going to focus on maneuverability. My objective has to be not to burn through my stamina too quickly. Um, we got to take them out when we can. Right, they can't get behind us here, right? Ah, son of a bitch! One shot. I God, you, I lose that shield, and I'm done, man. Turn around. Gotcha. All right, softened up a couple of them there. Probably isn't much. All right, let's take a look. Um, what was biting us in the ass here? I mean, it's shots getting through our shield. So let's go to wielding. We're going to max out our benefits on wielding, I guess.
I like that little ledge as a place to back into and try to hold the line. Come on. Come on, baby! Fuck! Could try goosing our armor. See what that does. Keep them guessing. Got another one. These are long shots for Eidestog, who I'm sure has some limited experience as a hunter, but not a lot. All right, let's time it, hopefully. Oh, that had to be close, right? All right. Let's confirm what we got here. Bend will. That's crap. Don't need it. Uh, an annihilating distance energy at will? I don't know. I don't know what that means. An annihilating distance energy. Sure. Ambush. Okay. You may let me out of the kill cam now so that I don't die. Fuck! What is that guy wielding? It is that guy who's killed me the last two times in a row, at least. So let's pretend Eidestog tried some poison. How about that? Um, I don't think I have anything strong enough to make them frenzy or anything crazy like that. If they're giving me a, a free shot right at the start, it would be lovely to just flat out kill this guy.
Oh, you bastard. There we go. Dead. Telegraphing these is difficult. That's another hit. All right. We have burned through all of Theral's arrows. We got some of these ancient Nord ones, which are more than adequate to deliver some poison, I think. But we, at this level, we really only get one shot with a poison arrow, so... Ugh, yeah, I missed. Come on. Stop moving. Stop moving. All right, well, we peppered him pretty good. That bastard with the elven mace, though, I want him dead in a bad way. Um, all right. Let's take a look here. Uh, rift walk, whatever the hell that was. Useless. Unrelenting force. Let's see if we can use it to break up some attacks here. All right, here they come. All right. Guy in a barbarian-looking armor with an elven mace. All right. All right, this guy is... Damn you. Same guy. If I'm glowing red, that means he hit me. So he's got some kind of health, probably health absorption. Something like that. Damn you. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Who are all these people spawning all over the place? What the hell's happening? Nasty. They're just like spawning everywhere. Okay. Increase health by 100 points. Why not? Vigorous healing. Ultimate stamina. Come on. That guy right there in that barbarian-looking armor, he is the problem right now. If I miss a block on him, I'll be dead meat. Clearly. <laughs> what? Okay. Here's the strategy. Here's the next strategy. Near. 
Fuck. Come on. Sorry, guys. My game's screwing up today, and I'm foul-mouthed because I'm getting frustrated. So... This is a good one. This one's definitely going to go in the scrap heap. All right, I'm going to try it one more time at Legendary. If I can't get it, I'm going to bust the difficulty down to Master and blast through it. Um, that's about it. All right, I'm going to try to get myself into some of these choke points up in here. Oh, fuck. Invisible dude. Ah, arrows. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. String them out. This is a good spot right here. Or not. God dang it. All right, we're going down to master. You want to know what shouts I have? Here are the shouts I have. Want to try Armageddon? Sure. Now, I don't know how effective that shout was, but I can guarantee you it wouldn't have been nearly as effective at legendary difficulty. So, at this point, I think it's more about difficulty than it is about actual shout selection. Kind of makes me wonder, too, how much difficulty plays into the number of enemies that are being spawned in here. Let's go see the aftermath of this. Mace of Hexes. Target is consumed by anger, taking 10 magic damage for 10 seconds or until it attacks or casts a spell. Hmm. Interesting. See, now look at that. There's only like three enemies here now. All right. Settings. 
gameplay. Legendary. Load. 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 Okay. Let's go back here. What was it? Armageddon. Okay, let's let them pile up. Okay, there's one. Look at that. Look at my health go. Look at it go. Look at it go. Look at it go. <laughs> it is that freaking axe. The deal is, is when he hits me with that mace, I have to immediately attack or I will die. That is the only way to, to stop the killing effect of that thing. All right. Locking the shit out of me, too. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, where are all the rest of them that were rushing at me before? There's only one dead up there from the bow, but didn't we? Didn't it seem like we had 10 or 20 bandits down here before? I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe something was glitching. Okay, um, Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like I feel like something must have been glitching before if I was surrounded that bad. Although it did also... It wasn't until I figured out how this dude's weapon worked that I could counter it. So, that's helpful. But, I mean... I only killed three people here? And there were at least two or three times that before, so I don't know. Something's going on. But we are back at legendary difficulty, so I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. Ooh. F to the five. Yes, I just did. <sighs> wow. That shit was giving me fits, man.
Wisp is telling us we're not alone. Which is interesting. Okay. Nord Helmet. Exquisite. 54. War Chief. 56. Boom. All right. Huh. It's a better bow than the one we've been using. So let's take the existing bow and let's dump it in there. As a player, it, it's somewhat frustrating, but what'll happen is I'll get done with this, I'll get some distance from it, and I'll look back and what I'll see were all the good things and not the frustration. So at that point, I'll be able to use it. But as is the way with me when I'm going through it, I get pissed. All right. Now we've got a we've got a load door to go to if we need to. All right, hang on now. Armageddon, that's not going to work inside. So earthquake. Jesus, hammer guy. I'll get you. You're nothing. Die. I'll have your head for a throat. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay. Yowza. And if you're wondering why I'm not extracting blood from any of these characters, it is because I do not have the extractor. Okay? Ida's dog doesn't have the extractor. The extractor is in the hands of Marl currently. So we will not be extracting anything from these characters because we literally don't have it. All right. So I just needed to point that out because it is a story point that's relevant, I guess. All right. here, maybe. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Alright. So, let's see. Firstly... Let's heal. Ultimate stamina. Hasn't been a lot of shock in use there. We'll resist some cold. Burned. Burned. All right. Let's try it again. Yes, I cleared out. Ah. So you guys having fun yet? Watching me be stubborn? Yeah. Okay. Dragon Aspect. Let's unlock that. Let's try that. See what that does for us. Did you hear something? Did you hear something? We want to try to draw him around this corner here. Damn it. Here he comes again. Mistake. Okay. The other guys are smarter, man. Oh, this guy's a problem. This guy is truly a problem. <laughs> he's he's cagey, man. Okay, if I rush him, I'm going to take at least two shots before I get to him. At least. So, if that's the case, we'll reduce our damage a little bit. However, oh, we got waning fire. We're using that. All right. Well, I guess there's not much else I can do there. I don't think I have... Um, yeah, I don't have anything potion-wise to help me out there. So... Quick save here.
rest. Huh? Time ah. to die. Ah. That was close. That was very close. I'm not going to use any more healing here. Just see if we can. Ah. Imagine that. Should have searched the damn bear. All right. I guess. Fighting the bandits is making uh, fighting lurkers look like a walk in the park. Okay, what else we got here? All right, we know where that goes. Okay, wow. Uh, this area is cleared out. There are a couple of spots in the towers outside I haven't looked at yet, just to make sure they're clear. So we'll go and look at those next. Just to make sure you I searched. You I searched. All right. Yeah, you know, that's one of the things, like, using this medium for storytelling is kind of a trip. Um, I'm always having to... I'm always having to try to balance um, difficulty with storytelling. I don't... I don't want the adventure to be a cakewalk. At the same time, I, I like to try to avoid situations like this where we're spending so much time trying to survive in a particular scenario that we stop telling a story. You know? So I'm trying to strike a balance there. This, this particular episode, I've done a piss-poor job of finding that balance. Oh god, what is up? You're as good as dead. What the hell? They're coming out of the ocean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They are literally coming out of the ocean right now. Holy cow. Okay, let's sit down here for a second. Come on. Dead man. 
frickin' A. Oh. Ah, oh, God. Resist shock, resist fire. Health. No. Let's do some regeneration. All right, vigorous healing. Ultimate stamina. Go down, you son of a bitch! Boy. Okay. I can just stand up. Mercy. No, no mercy. Holy. Where's that guy who was over here? Did he roll into the ocean and float away? Wow. Okay. Let's save here. Now we get to fight a giant pig. Go away, pig. You are not welcome here. Me and the pig choose to leave each other alone. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's get up the hill here. I think we're pretty damn close to our final destination. I would not be surprised at all, yes, if we ran into, like, you know, something insane, like a shit ton of reeklings or something. So... Let's get up here and scope this out. Is that a cultist? It is. Son of a bitch. Cultist. All right. The unworthy flee before the master's power. What by day was stolen.
Ooh. F5 is our battle cry. F5, do you hear me? Okay. Now let's scope this out. We gotta plan our attack. All right, this is a good place to start it, and then we'll size things up. Um, wow. All right, that is the next thumbnail. Okay. Okay, so we're going to hit the bend wheel and we're going to see where the lurker comes up. Like, he's going to be preoccupied with these workers for the first part of things. But I like this position because the scaffolding is likely going to stay up. If it does, it means the scaffolding, is go the scaffolding will break up his uh, range attack. If we stay behind it, if we keep the scaffolding between us and him, it'll, it'll basically nullify his range attack. And then we just got to wait for our opening. Okay? Go! Yeah. Oh, dragon behind us. Get down. Okay. All right. Switch in. Oh, that's hot. That is super, super hot. Okay, let's do some resist fire. Okay, we're going to double check and make sure that we've got our necklace of waning fire on. We do. We're going to save right here. Probably not the best place in the world to save, but it is what it is. Let's keep an eye on him. Down. Uh, those rocks are getting hot. Okay. Okay, we gotta we gotta be strategic. We gotta be strategic about 
the unrelenting force shout here, because it's the only tool we have to break up his attack besides a shield bash. Which is bad. Um, all right. Burn that. Burn that. Time to end this little game. I need something I can use as a shield here. All right, this might do. Uh, I am like, <laughs> I'm like pretty much out of health now. This is going to be interesting. Elixir of health. I've got a lot of stuff to increase my health. I guess that's one way to look at it, but if I don't, if I can't fill it back up, becomes a real issue, doesn't it? Don't So that doesn't leave us with a lot of choices. Now the best option here is for us to go to healing, right? Now, what I like about that is it is definitely uncharacteristic for this character. However, if we're forced into the situation, it makes it more palatable to me because it indicates a change in how he's functioning. Shit, look at him. All right, now let's get out that fancy ebony bow. We don't have any super awesome arrows. Not many, anyway. I've got some glitching going on here. And I'm also getting attacked from behind by Reeklings, of course, like I predicted. Shit. Oh, come on. Okay. Not this time, Driver Four. This one's mine. Take it. Just take it. Oh boy. One step closer to my turn. <laughs> oh my God. Keep that shield up. Ah, come on. Oh, 
Ahoy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. It is about uh, time to wrap this up. However, before I do that... I'd like to consider a few things. Uh, one was just, you know, really, really rough row to hoe. We, we started out... Um, and I, I've got some glitching going on with the water here for some reason. Hang on a second, though. Uh, lots of difficulties and stuff like that, but consider the fact also that he's surviving on his own at legendary difficulty. We did manage to accomplish a lot today. Uh, we got through the Temple of Mirak. We destroyed all five of the shrines. We had a couple of dragon fights. We fought some just epic bandit battles. We killed a bunch of lurkers. A lot of amazing things happened, and I think the thing to do now is I'm going to go back and sort of unpack all of this difficulty and figure out how how this folds into the story, what this means for him. Uh, he's very much a survivor, that is for sure. Um, and even though some parts of it were really frustrating, in particular two game crashes today, because there was a lot going on with OBIS and all that, Uh, I would consider it to be a big success, um, and I try to I try to keep some perspective on things when I'm when I'm making these videos because it could be really easy to get frustrated and you know when things aren't going your way. But ultimately, what this is about is allowing Ida t Ida Stog to tell his own story, and it, if there's anything that we know about him is that. He is, he is locked in an eternal sort of life-altering struggle with Hermaeus Mora and apparently a shit ton of bandits. So, I think that it's... Yeah. The perfect way to end. Perfect way to end. Um, so I feel like the adversity is okay. We almost got two levels as well. Almost completed two full levels, which is pretty awesome considering our uh, how high level we are now. So, All right. Uh, I will see you all Tuesday. Uh, thank you so much for attending today. If you're interested in contributing to this channel and helping to... Uh, support the mayhem that I'm creating. Uh, feel free to do that. You can go to donate.patreon.com and uh, submit as much as you care to there. Whatever you can afford is definitely appreciated. So thank you and good night. Bye bye. Only invisible people. I wish I could be an invisible bandit. Even live to regret this. I could just do whatever I wanted. No.
here now. Come <laughs> on! 